guys, TGB the game Bacon here today, and today we're going to play as the Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I just finished the game with these guys, uh, so I'm going to stay in the lobby. Uh, who knows how this is going to turn out. I kind of did lose, which is kind of sad. But we're playing Nuke Town, which makes sense because this map, I swear, the spawns on there are so annoying that... Why? So, you have one person on one side of the map, right? And then you have 20 people on the other side of the map. And somehow... You on the one side of the map freaking die. Because everyone over there just starts firing at each other. And then they all spawn over on your side. Can, can, can there be logic around that, please? And we're playing Breach. Ugh, this freaking guy leaves. So this guy came in first place. Dark Matter, Prestige 9. Level 55. Pretty good. I don't even have Dark Matter on Prestige 9. That just shows how much of a uh, no life I am. Hey. So yeah, guys, uh, he came in first place. Ace J came in second place, so we've got to watch out for this guy, and he has the HQ-40. Oh, lovely. This is going to work out great. I think this is, what, you know how in Black Ops 2? Well, let's, hang on, let's stop before we go to Black Ops 2. So in Black Ops 3, they have DLC weapons, right? They have the MX Grand, the R Marshals, the R Saiyan Tradition, the new rocket launcher. They have the M HG-40. They have the FFAR, and then they have a bunch of melee weapons, and they don't include them into gun games. I remember in Black Ops 2, even if you didn't have that one DLC pack where you got the Peacekeeper, you could still play with it in gun games. That used to be uh, the best thing ever because not many people liked the Peacekeeper, and whenever they used it, you would be like, oh, I want it. I really do want this gun right here because it was pretty cool. It was honestly actually a pretty good gun whenever I picked it up. But whenever you played in gun game, it was so much fun because you actually got, you didn't have to pay for a gun. Thank you. I, I just, I just had to, I just had to get that real quick. Fudge! I was on you. Okay. Whatever. But still, like talking, going back to the Black Ops 2, like you didn't have to pay to get one of the guns from a DLC pack, which I thought was pretty good, good and very smart of Activision. Really? RK5 has that much ammo? What? Feels like whenever I use it, I freaking run out of ammo in like two seconds. Thank you. Okay. Ah, yeah, you got sometimes be in focus mode. Get that out of here. No, I thought I was gonna get the pre fire on him. Dang. Alright. Now, actually, going back to the Black Ops 2 thing. This time for real. Well, see, I like I like I said, it was pretty cool how they did it, and you didn't have to pay for it. But in this game, you basically have to pay to get a new weapon, and they don't even include it into freaking gun games. So they don't, they basically don't let you try it. But now it's the new bribes. I think that they should honestly put like one, well, probably like the MX Grand or something like that, something that was like first started out. But you know, they can put whatever they want into it. I just want at least some type. Of some type of DLC weapon in the game. And one other thing, like the radar is always on constant, so you always know where your freaking opponent is. So they're always pre firing, see? Look at this. Doesn't even know if I'm coming freaking in and then starts pre firing. But whatever, you know what? You know what? Where I died? And I freaking died. Guys, freaking four guns ahead. No, six guns ahead of me. And then back here just sitting like, I wish I had guns. This Electro Kid, I swear. He's on point today. Thank you, finally. You can basically sit in a freaking corner. In gun game, in freaking win. Because you always know where your enemies are with this constant radar. I think, no, this isn't on constant. This is on, um. Oh god, what's it called? Continue. No, 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 I don't know. It's something like that. Yes! I'm actually doing good. Fudge and he says that and then he dies. Alright, I'm at, I'm, at, I'm at the 11th gun right now, so the other guy's at the 16th gun. I can actually get my English turn. Yay! And there we go. He's on the freaking knife. Yeah, he's on the knife. You, you can do this and win. I'm not even kidding. Do this and win. It's a camp. Oh. 
I forgot, did they fix the thing where it's, uh, this is a question for you guys, did they fix where you just can sit in a gun game lobby and, um, get crypto keys? Did they fix that yet? I, I don't know. Can I please just get a kill with this freaking sheep, I swear, I can... Kid! You know, don't, 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 chill. You got this, alright? Only a gun game match. Please don't hit me. For once in my life, can I go against someone with a freaking Shiva? Am I really gonna have to camp? Oh, he's about to win. Yes! And there he goes. I hopped, though. Actually, I hopped on this game. Not me. And not Electro. That's different. Like, way out of what I expected. I kind of did, like, expect not to win. But, like, seriously. How did you not kill him? You were sitting behind... Okay, the kid behind him, his accuracy is so bad that he couldn't even kill him from a foot away. That annoys me. J j just a little bit. You know, just, just a little bit. But it annoys me that you're one foot away and you can't flip and kill someone. And that freaking face is so scary. I don't like it. Whatever. Whew. But still, like, like I said, like, it would be awesome, though, if they could put, like, one of the DLC weapons into a gun game. Switch it out, you know, with, like, maybe the Shiva. Switch out the MX... That's actually perfect. Switch out the MX Grand with the Shiva. That would be perfect. Because they both almost have, like, the same fire rate. It's basically kind of... It's basically the same gun. And we didn't get 10 crypto keys. How much I love? Okay, whatever. Hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Make sure to drop a like on the video if you guys have enjoyed. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because tomorrow, well, I, tomorrow we're doing hide and seek. We're doing something tomorrow. I don't, I'm not sure. But we're doing something fun tomorrow. Uh, I don't know what it's going to be. If you have any surprise, but like I said, hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that red, red subscribe button. Also, click the G2A link down below if you guys uh, want some cheap games like Xbox, Steam, PlayStation, whatever you have. Um, And yeah, Wednesdays is going to be a zombie live stream. Zetsubo no Shima. Oh, uh, I don't know what me and Panda King are going to be doing because I know that, uh, we're going to be doing something. Like I said, hope you guys have enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.